say you don't wanna get in trouble That you're doing fine cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Morning guys, I am here in Milton Keynes and Bletchley. Uh, I've just come um, to show you um, all you uh, Zimbabweans and all other uh, people who might want to know where to buy um, some meat here in the United Kingdom. Um, the butchers that are well known by all Zimbabweans, by most Zimbabweans in fact, is the Palmas butchers and uh, one of them is uh, located here in Bletchley, Milton Keynes. So come with us guys, I'll just show you where you can buy all those things that you might want to buy uh, that reminds you of home. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. yeah, found here in Milton Keynes, Bletchley. So come with us, I'll show you where you can buy your hufu, wasaza, millimil, and uh, meat for your barbecue. So guys, uh, this is the High Street, if you like, for Bletchley. So your usual shops in England. Charities. And uh, here you find a lot of uh, Zimbabweans, a lot of other nationalities who come to purchase some uh, foodstuffs and uh, some groceries, mostly African, Caribbean. So, yeah guys, this is where you will need to come if you want to buy some beef stew or anything that you might have been used to from uh, your own country. So it's um, how much butchers Thomas quality butchers in Milton, Kings, Bletchley to be specific. So guys, I'm just gonna go in there and show you what we can find in the shop and uh, show you what we can find. Uh, we got some uh, meat, uh, but I'm just gonna go around and show you what we can find in here. And um, the prices are quite reasonable as well. That's why a lot of people come here can buy your barbecue meat. It's very, very popular shop uh, here in Milton Keynes. So some of the things that you find, uh, for example, marinated pork ribs, three pounds, 99 each, or three for 10 pounds. Um, got some uh, brewers. So, there you go guys, approvals, nine pounds, 99. So you find the traditional brovos, the chili ones, chili brovos, some fresh chicken here, chicken wings, which means meat, garlic brovos, some bacon, and uh, here you've got uh, some cultured milk, mm, we call it, we know the brand, the lacto in, uh, in Zimbabwe. So yeah guys, all the things that you need, such the butchers, they are preparing all the meats for you, and people are just shopping, as usual, it's very, very busy here, uh, but they are very, very nice butchers. So you put your built on there, dried beef, and uh, what else can I find here? Um, got some bones. What is this one here? Four pounds. Uh, so yeah, very good prices. Some lamb. And you can even buy some freezer bags so you don't have to worry about how you're gonna store your meat when you get home. Uh, some traditional pork scratchings. So, yeah, very lovely atmosphere. Everyone comes here to buy their foodstuffs. And uh, the staff are very friendly as well. So, yeah, there you find some uh, beef stew. So those are the prices. 
as you can see. Yeah. So yeah guys, we got some eggs. So if there's anything, really, just come and uh, find out. I'll see if I can speak to someone so that you can be... Hello, sorry, what's your name? Dion. Dion. So Dion is just going to uh, tell us a bit more uh, about these butchers. Guys, uh, these guys are so experienced. They've been here for many, many years. So I don't know much, so let me pass to uh, Dion so that he can tell you about what they offer. Well, we've been here 27 years now doing what we do best, cut meat. We have the best beef, we have the best sausages, the Bolivost, your favourite sausage of your homeland. We do our own biltong, uh, we do all your gurus, your um, matumbus, your bazonda. I mean, yeah, yeah we, 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 we try our hardest to copy what you had back home. And I think that's why now we are so busy with all the Zimbabweans, the South Africans in this country, or in this shop. As you know, if you're a customer here, it's, it's a very busy shop and everyone comes here because I think because of the best quality meat we serve. So, uh, so what would you say are your busiest days or times? Busiest top, well, busiest days are Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays. Three but the weekend, obviously, when people are off, not working, they come shopping. And obviously at the end of the month when it's payday, it's really, really busy here because everyone comes and really spends a lot of money and have for barbecues, warm weather's coming, it's going to be ever, it's going to be ever so busy when the sun comes out. So as soon as the sun comes out, it's going to be weekends are going to be busy, busy, busy. Very Especially nice. with the, the bank holidays, we've got three bank holidays coming First up in May. Year we have, yeah. So it's going to be a manic May, as they mm. call it. It's called Manic May this manic year. May. <laughs> so Yeah, uh, I mean, you're quite right. And uh, it's sort of a tradition for us in Babu. You find that when it's weekend, when people have finished work, they want to have a barbecue. You love your boys. Catch up with family. So quite right. So yeah, guys, this is uh, the busiest times. Uh, if you want to come and buy your, uh, your meat, uh, if you don't want the busy times, try to come during the week, like what I've yes, done. Yeah. But uh, it's always, you know, there's always enough meat for everyone. You never, I've never come here we and never found that. <laughs> That's right. And we, so lovely. we deliver online now as well. There you go, guys. They deliver online. Palmersbutchers.com. There you go. So you will find them online. You can order your, uh, your whatever your products you want. It's not just meat, as I said, there's other products as well. And so just go online, buy your products, and they'll be delivered to you. What are the delivery charges? Well, How does it work? It starts £10 for the, for the initial box, is £10 plus VAT, so £12 in money. Okay. But that's anywhere in the country. Anywhere in the country. There you go, guys. So, Thank you good. so much, Dion, right. no uh, for speaking to me. Guys, no this is the place to come. Uh, you can come and uh, buy what you want. Very lovely stuff. You always find something that you want in here. Uh, yeah, frozen foods are there. Uh, if you like some uh, burgers for your barbecue, there you go, and you can see the prices. Um, and I'm just gonna show you what they have on the other side of uh, the shop. So let's go in, guys, and let's see what we can find. Uh, as I said, uh, from the outside, you can find some uh, uh, some fruits and some vegetables here. Uh, you got your watermelon and um, some very very nice fruits. And then, as we go inside, you find some more fruits. Uh, so anything that you might want, you'll find here. Uh, this is the place to come to, guys. Sorry. Um, some vegetables. Yeah, here you see, you know, not just Zimbabweans, not just Africans, but uh, a lot of uh, different uh, people come and buy their food stuff from here. Uh, that's Maputi. Hey guys. So for a bell of Maputi, it costs eight pounds ninety-nine. There are twenty packets. So roughly about 60 pence each. And uh, some drinks. Uh, I'll show you which one is my favorite. It says Paletta, the cream soda. That's my favorite. Tell me guys in the comment section which one is your favorite drink if you are from uh, 
Zimbabwe or South Africa, uh, this will be very familiar with you. Look at the rusks over there. These are nice. And uh, some Simba crisps. Yeah, some. Uh, then you've got your Iwisa. So that's a uh, 10 kgs of Iwisa, and the prices are here. Okay. And then you also got some. Uh, your body creams, you got camphor, yeah, and um, got some lovely, you got lovely stuff. The stuff are so friendly here. Uh, if you want anything, that you can just ask. And here we go, guys. Lightly salted roasted maize snack. You got your beans. From Bushfield, that's the company, and that's round nuts or Nemo. These are from South Africa, and this is also round nuts, Nemo, so just a different type. Some garlic. You'll find some spices, all kinds of spices. Just by you. And uh, here, guys, look. We've got carpenter here. Lovely. It's dried carpenter. And it costs £3.99. And some seasonings. And of course, for the kids guys it's all here this is the dandy oh it reminds me so much of growing up dandy wow guys everything that you want is here mazoe it's for six pounds 99 your milo there you say they like the coffees tanganda so anything that you want is here guys uh, all your favorites are in this shop just ask they will be able to help you as well if you can't find what you're looking for We are in Bletchley, Palmer's Quality Butchers and Grocery Shop. Just showing you what you can find here. For those who are coming from uh, Zimbabwe or South Africa and you are used to these products and you are wondering where do I buy them, uh, this is a place to come to. Bletchley in Milton Keynes. If you just Google Bletchley Milton Keynes, you can come to the shop directly. Uh, I only live nearby in Bedford, so I just come here because it's close to me. But if you are far away, go online uh, and you can find this shop and you can order. As earlier on, I spoke to uh, one of the butchers who was telling me that uh, I think prices start from about £10, pounds, 10, pounds, 10 pounds delivery. So yeah, this reminds me so much of boarding school, guys. You remember these biscuits? They would go a long way. Food, your fish, you'll find tilapia here. So, you 
see if I can find tilapia. There you go, guys. There's tilapia in here. Fresh tilapia. There you go. And some uh, fillets. Some seafood. Sweet potatoes, cassava. So yeah, guys, uh, there's my mom there. She's just finished shopping, and my dad. Mom, did you find your things you wanted? I found what I wanted, and I, I also took you to to buy for sweet potatoes. Oh, okay. And plantain. Yeah. I put, I put them in the basket for you. Thank you. Kambira, I don't you know if you want something else. No, that's fine, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Kambira, did you find what you wanted? Yes, please. What did you find? What did you want to buy? Beef. Okay. And leg. Okay, so you found everything. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Guys, this is also one of my favorites. I come all, I always come to buy this and uh, obviously I can't go home without a packet of this. Uh, I grew up eating this. Well, most of us we grew up eating this and I cannot go home without them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this in my basket. And uh, that's it. So guys that's my shopping. I'm just going to find out how much it costs. And then we'll see how much it costs. Thank you. Thank you. Probably gonna ask my mom to pay for me today because I've picked quite a lot of things. <laughs> but the prices are quite reasonable considering you know they've got to get these things from abroad. Uh, I'm sure some are some of the products. Uh, did you get them from here or everything gets? Most of it, the majority is from abroad. Yeah, Mostly, so yeah, 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 so but the prices are reasonable considering all that um, shipping from abroad. Mm. So let's see how much my grocery is going to cost. Thank you. That's fine. They are very nice, those sweet potatoes. We also sell boxes as well. All right. So how much will be the box? The range from 30 to 32 pounds. Roughly, depending on the weight. Yes. Uh, no, no, I've got some. Yeah. I love that it's come to 28 pounds 30. Okay, so guys, there you go. My groceries are 28 pounds 18, considering what I've bought. It's quite reasonable for me. Thank you, and we shall pay. Cash or card? Card. So yeah, thank you so much uh, for allowing me to film in here and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be so helpful to a lot of people who don't know where to find stuff. Hope to see them all. Thank you I'm so much. Mama's. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye <laughs> okay, now. Guys, I've, I've done my shopping and I'm just going to wait here and see if I can find uh, someone who I can speak to and ask uh, a bit more about uh, if they like this shop and uh, where they're from. So let's see if we can find someone to ask. Oh yeah, are you local? Yeah. Very much local. Very much local? Yeah. Where are you from originally? I'm from Congo. Congo? Wow, you look lovely. I like the way you dress. Yeah, thank you. Guys, I've got uh, Giselle here. She's a lovely lady. I've just asked if I can ask her one or two questions uh, because she's a bit local than I am. So uh, I'm just going to ask her what uh, she thinks of Bletchley and maybe tell me whatever she wants to tell me. But mostly I wanted you to know about Palmer's uh, quality butchers and grocery shop. Uh, so Giselle, did you say you shop from that, you buy from there as well? I do, I do. Yeah. And what, did you, what do you think about it? Um, Palmer's, Palmer's is like a family. It's like a family because um, I buy almost everything, meat. Yeah. And the next next door there is um, another shop that sells fish, yes. that is also Palmer's. Mm -hmm. So I buy almost everything yeah. from Palmer's. Yeah, so and they are so friendly. When you come in there, I remember when my youngest daughter, who is 11 now, was 
a toddler, uh, she always used to get sweet lollipops. I so I very remember. much friendly and welcoming. They are very friendly indeed because I also have a teenagers now and they were little. Mm -hmm. I used to come in here and they would get lollipops. Yeah. I've actually got some lollipops for them <laughs> because they little says, make sure you give the boys the lollipops. Yeah. You're quite right, they are very, very friendly. Very friendly. And there's a variety of things, am I right? Yes, they are. From fish to meat, ingredients and spices, so almost everything really, almost everything. Almost everything. Yeah, yeah. And I have a lot of friends that come from Northampton, um, as far as some of them come from Nottingham right. to come here to buy meat because mm. the way they cut the meat and the way us African we eat our meat, this is like from African shop. You're right, yes. Yes. That's, that's the reason why also I came here many, many years ago and I've never turned back. They do have nice tasting meat and other products that you wouldn't find elsewhere. Yes. So thank you so much, Giselle. No, that's okay. You're, You're welcome. Me. You're thank welcome. So Palmer's is the best. Oh, so okay. everybody come to Palmer's in Bletchley. Thank you. You'll be welcome. Thank you. There you are. Welcome. You heard for yourself, guys, from Giselle. Palmer's is the place to come. Thank you, my sister. Yes, okay. So we're just going to uh, take you around. Uh, just along the high street, sorry, just take you around the high street and show you uh, what it looks like. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of uh, the high street here in uh, Bletchley so that you can see how it looks like. It's a very nice atmosphere and uh, a lot of people uh, will be walking around doing their daily things. Um, so I just wanted to show you the shops which are local to this place. So guys, I'm just going to show you where you can uh, park if you come to Bletchley um, because you will need to know where you can be able to park and how much it may cost you while you do your groceries. So this is the short stay parking. And uh, here you also find some public toilets. doing lots and lots of building nowadays so yeah this is the parking you can come and use while you come to Bletchley to buy your groceries and uh, let's see if we can find the cost but uh, Two hours maximum stay. Right. And uh, let's go and see if we can find how much it costs. So, guys, this is uh, where you can come and pay, uh, where, where you can come and park. And uh, it is free parking as far as I can see. As long as you um, stay for two hours maximum. So that's quite good because you don't have to worry about pay. Disabled uh, parking bays are also available. Yeah, the shops are closing, isn't it? Yeah, some of them are after COVID, you know, all things are. Yeah, all things, yeah. Look at the downsizing. Yeah. 
So guys, I've just met uh, this lovely man here, uh, one of the security guys here. And uh, yeah, I was just walking around to see what's available. And he's just been telling me, as you can see uh, here from him, most of the shops have closed, but there's still some shops. So it used to be very busy. Yeah, it used to be very busy. Yeah. yeah we still, we still, we still have a, a, a fair bit in, in there. Busy enough. Yeah, we have um, Santander, Sant we have a shoe zone, Pongland, yeah. Bomonche, Savers, yeah. Pong Plus, Farm Foods, yeah. F, uh, H Heinz. So, so already some basic shoes. Basic uh, things, yeah. uh, the shops are there that you want, you know, like the basic shops. Uh, but like those big brands, some of them <laughs> have closed, which is very common in most of the towns now. Uh, oh, so where are you from? Originally. Yeah, originally. Uh, from Grenada. Grenada? Yeah. Oh, lovely. All right. I want to go and see how it is there. Is it a nice country? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's very nice. What's sort should. of? You see, um, I always tell people Grenada is like a tree destination mm -hmm. because we're very close to Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Yeah, also St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So if you go to Grenada, you can just jump on a ferry up to St. Vincent territory, All right. spend a day up there, yeah. you know, or jump to Trinidad 34 minutes on a plane. So there's so, a lot to offer. We we have three different islands. We have the mainland Grenada. Mm -hmm. and we have two other dependencies, which is Caracu and Piti Martinic. Okay. So if you like the metropolitan life, you know, yeah. the, the busy lifestyle, you could be in Grenada. Find it there. <laughs> you know, um, if you like the more quiet, Conceal life, mm -hmm. try Karaku, All right. and the more cultural, you know, yeah. and then the smallest Pity Martinic, you know, you can just get away from everything. Just That's what I like relax, actually. You know, so you can try it. That's what I like actually. I'm looking forward to be traveling uh, the world and see different places sure. and speak to different places. I just love speaking to people. <laughs> That's why I'm speaking to this gentleman here. And just to know about, you know, people's lifestyle, what's there out there. Because I think nowadays, you know, people, we, we you know, we, We've, we've gone through a lot with all this COVID and things, but we just have to look on the positive side. Sure, sure. And, uh, you know, that's life, isn't it? We've got to enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, so guys, most of the shops are closed, as you can see. Uh, nothing much is happening here which is a shame but uh you know the world has changed uh with covid and uh businesses are struggling but as i said you know we just have to look on the positive side uh this is to got some shops which are open like this one here uh got your bon marché which is open got your savers so We just have to uh, be on the positive side uh, and keep going. The Brunel Centre in Bletchley. A few more shops here, guys. But yeah, so let's go back. But people are still happy despite <coughs> despite the uh, economy which is not good nowadays so yeah guys uh, most of the shops have closed but uh, there's still some which are going strong uh, is uh, Bletchley. As you can see some empty shops. Things have changed guys but you know what we've got to be positive. We have to be positive. It will be well. So if you've uh, just started watching this video, I'm just walking in Bletchley High Street, Milton Keynes. 
where I have come to uh, show you guys the Palmas quality butchers and groceries where you can buy your meat and other products. I'm just gonna go in here. Uh, this is a cake shop. Hello. So many shops have closed in uh, Bletchley here. Some, some shops are closed, empty. Yeah, yeah, they're empty. That's right. Are, are they going to maybe they'll probably end up closing it because there's not many shops as well. Yeah, it's just a limited shop. Yeah, yeah, which is a shame, but uh, you know, COVID has changed a lot of things in the economy as well. But hopefully, it will pick up. Uh, can I just buy um, uh, the Cookie crumble chocolate base, yeah. Have one of those and what my mom would love. Emily, do you want a cake? Yeah. Which one? You need to choose one for yourself. You can take home for your family. Chocolate fusion. Okay, one chocolate fusion. Thank you. Those two slices. I think that's that's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, please. So, guys, we just got ourselves some cakes here. I've tasted these cakes before. They are lovely. <laughs> so, let's see. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. Don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You don't have to be ready. You don't have to be ready.